Um, yeah, so first time we've ever done a, a Zoom call in front of people. Um, Hisham had planned to be here. We actually had three tickets to DEF CON. Uh, myself, Dylan, who you guys have probably seen over at our table, and uh, Hisham as well, but uh, we couldn't get a visa out of the, out of the country. So um, we're bringing him here via projector. Um, so Hisham, if you could um, introduce yourself, tell us a little bit about you. Sure. So hello, guys. My name is Hisham, and I'm a cryptographer. Uh, I joined the core team for Railgun. And um, my basic role is to design and develop the zero knowledge proof and more especially ZK Snark circuit and the verifier, the library that interfaces with the prover. And aside from Railgun, I'm also doing my PhD on cryptography, uh, especially on privacy preserving protocols on blockchain. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very uh, good advocate of privacy and supporter for it. So what got you into, uh, into cryptography in the first place? So it started in 2017 when I first uh, heard about Ethereum and I was very impressed by smart contracts and the ability to decentralize uh, computation in a trustless manner. So uh, at that moment, I was looking at the state of blockchain and I could see like everything was public. Like you could see um, transaction states in a public way. And uh, after Ethereum hard fork to Byzantium, where they introduced uh, the pre-compiled for um, elliptic curve functions like addition, multiplication, and elliptic curve pairing. This was very a good chance for me to join the blockchain area and try to find solutions to the problem of privacy on public blockchains. So yeah, that was the moment I became very interested in blockchain, especially on Ethereum. And also, I decided to do my PhD um, on privacy, preserving protocols on blockchain at that moment. Really cool, man. So um, could you tell us briefly um, you know, what Railgun is um, and how you could explain it to somebody who doesn't have a lot of experience in cryptocurrency? Sure. So the easiest way to understand Railgun is it's a private wallet. So, the problem with public blockchains like Ethereum, you can see everything, like everything is public and that's needed for verification of transactions. However, this compromise your financial privacy because anyone can learn what amounts do you have in your account, who did you transact to, and like you can learn the recipient, the sender, and also, if you transact in ERC tokens, ERC20 tokens, you also know what token type that you're transacting in. So basically, there is no privacy at all with the current state of Ethereum. And what Railgun does is it helps people to preserve their privacy. And by helping them, which is uh, an essential right, which, it, which I'm talking about, which is privacy. So Railgun allows users to transact in a private way. So using Railgun, no one will, will learn the amount that you're transacting in, the token that you're sending to the other users, or the sender and recipient of the transactions. Everything is shielded, or could I say encrypted. And only the users of that transaction can gain access to the information of that transaction. So basically, if there is a railgun transaction on Ethereum and you try to scan it on Etherscan, for example, you will find nothing. It's all encrypted data. And it's accompanied by zero knowledge proof, which proves that this transaction is valid. So 
there is no double spending or there is no money out of thin air. And this is basically what Railgun uh, helps people with. And one more point, which is on Ethereum, because it uses account model, so all transactions are, are linked to your account. Like when you send a transaction, you have to pay the gas. And this, this is a major problem because it links your transaction to the same account that you're using. But in Railgun, we elevate this problem by using relayers. So what relayer can do is um, it receives and encrypted transactions from users in a trustless way, like relayers cannot corrupt the transactions or modify them in a malicious way. And the relayer forwards this transaction to Ethereum. And of course, the relayer gets, gets fees for uh, the gas that it's paying. And what's interesting here is that the fee that the relayer received is also in the same token that the user is transacting in. So for example, if a user is sending, let's say, wrapped Bitcoin on Ethereum, then the relayer will also get fees in wrapped Bitcoin as well. So this is a nice uh, feature because relayers can collect fees in, in different kinds of tokens. And additionally, the fees that the, the relayer receive they are encrypted as well. So no one will learn how much fees or how much the balance that this relayer has at the moment. So we talked about uh, sending uh, tokens to and from uh, other users. What other use cases do we have? So the other use cases we have which, uh, first and most important is interaction with DeFi contracts in a private way. So a user on Railgun can uh, deposit funds from Railgun into Uniswap, for example, and then do the transaction or swapping and eventually receive the amount or like if it swap tokens on Uniswap, then the result can get back to that user's balance in Railgun in a private way. So from a public point of view, no user or no observer can learn um, who is the user behind that transaction that went to Uniswap. It all appears like a transaction is coming from Railgun and to Uniswap, and then another transaction is going from Uniswap to Railgun, but no one knows the origin of that transaction. And additionally, we are also um, we also have a roadmap where we have uh, private decks, but uh, this is currently in in work in progress. But also at the moment, uh, like the contracts that are deployed on the mainnet now, they support internal swap between Railgun users. So let's say I have wrapped ETH and I want to swap it for wrapped Bitcoin, I can do it privately, completely privately on Railgun. And this is basically a feature um, called internal swap in, in Railgun. But we're also um, advancing this feature to be a fully private decentralized exchange. And one of the exciting features as well that we are currently working on is designing an um, anonymous and sealed bid NFT auctions. Because the current auctions, they are susceptible to front running. Like users can see how much others are bidding and they can front them by paying higher amount of gas. This is all problematic problem for, uh, for general use of auctions. And we are trying to solve it with NFT auctions, NFT private auctions. And one more uh, final thing that I'd like to talk about is the anonymous voting on DAO. So currently 
users can learn um, who voted yes for a proposal or who voted no. But in the next update, there will be um, completely anonymous voting. Like no one will learn who voted yes or who voted no, but eventually the vote result will be verified by zero knowledge proofs as well. Um, yeah, that's really great. Can you tell us a little bit more about the cryptography uh, behind Railgun? Yeah, definitely. So Railgun basically uses state of art ZK Snart, and we decided to use ZK Snart instead of ZK Start and other proving systems like bulletproofs for one major reason, and it's the efficient verification on blockchain. And it's constant, actually. Like it only takes three pairing operations, and the proof size is very small. And this allows us to generate proofs for very complex circuits or problem statements while maintaining the same constant gas cost on blockchain. And um, aside from ZK Snark, we are also using um, encryption to encrypt the uh, users' transactions. And also, we're using a smart friendly hash function. It's called Poseidon. And we use it to build the accumulator, which is Merkle tree in our case. But actually, we are investigating for the uh, next update to build batch transaction where a single transaction can um, prove the verification and validity for multiple transactions at once. And this is important because it allows Redon to scale beyond the current limits of um, Ethereum. So um, ZK snarks in themselves don't um, necessarily need privacy. So can you explain to us how, we're, how we can be sure that Railgun is private? Yeah, sure. So the problem was using zero knowledge proofs by themselves. They will not um, give you any anonymity or privacy. They will only hide your balance, and then you can prove that this balance is correct or the transacted amount is valid. But with the use of four layers, and um, you can unlink the uh, the association between your transaction and your original account. So basically, all you have to do is send an encrypted transaction to a relayer, and the relayer will forward it uh, on behalf of you. So this is how we achieve anonymity by breaking the link between your original account and your transaction. And one more thing is. On uh, Railgun, we have a, an ever increasing um, anonymity set. So the anonymity set gets increased as uh, each time user deposits um, new tokens or transfer or do withdrawal as well. So the more actions or transactions happen on Railgun, the higher anonymity set that users get. And additionally, this anonymity set is, um, is on top of all tokens that are deposited on Railgun. So we're not limiting um, the, uh, the anonymity of low uh, quality tokens. For example, let's say we have uh, a totally useless uh, token that only few people are using. And we give them the full privacy of other tokens on Railgun because we use a single Merkle tree for each token, for all tokens together. Yeah, that's really interesting, man. So can you tell us, um, like, whenever a transaction happens um, with Railgun, what, what do people see on Etherscan? So basically, um, we have three types of transactions. The first one is deposit. So deposit, it has to come from your account because 
you can't trust a relayer to deposit uh, on behalf of you. And this transaction, we can't actually hide it. This is something inherent in Ethereum. We can't do any change related to that unless there is like some fundamental change with Ethereum. And the second type of transaction, which is transfer. So by transfer, you can move your um, tokens to other users or to your other addresses in a private way. So on Etherscan, no one will learn who is actually transacting, like who is the sender or the recipient or the token or the amount that are um, part of that transaction. And the final transaction is withdrawal. So this happens when you want to um, unshield your balance from Railgun to a public Ethereum account, like you want to withdraw some of your balance. And this way we can't hide the recipient because the recipient must be an Ether address, Ethereum address. So we, we can't actually hide this one, but we do hide the origin of the withdrawal or the wallet that has the balance um, where the withdrawal comes from. Cool. So um, we, we got a decent crowd here. I uh, wish I had a camera on them so you could see them too. Um, do you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, funny jokes?